We now know the name of a woman killed in the grove during Saturday's storms. Catherine Cohen died when a tree fell on her car. She was 33 years old. A nearby business owner says one of her employees tried to save the woman. She called 911, but her calls went unanswered for about 30 minutes. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, has been pressing public officials for answers on what took so long to respond to that scene on Saturday. Mark. And St. Louis, the city of St. Louis, has not yet responded with a full timeline of events to rebut the criticism from those people who were concerned about a delay or any kind of delay in the response to that emergency situation where people were trapped under trees that toppled on that day. That much is still under investigation. We may learn more uh, in the days to come. What we do know is that first responders were flooded with calls, a thousand of them, in the two hour span that was the worst of it over the weekend on Saturday, that amounting to roughly one call every seven seconds. That's a lot of work for dispatchers who are overworked, underpaid, and understaffed. They are incredibly understaffed. Jialian Yang works with Forward Through Ferguson, a nonprofit working to transform the 911 emergency response system in St. Louis. The current 911 system is built for landline technology, it has not caught up with cell phone technology. And one of those challenges is that with as fragmented as our system is right now, they can't use your cell phone location data to find out where you are. Upgrading that technology comes with a big price tag, but could also help cut down on heavy workloads for dispatchers drowning in a flood of calls. You might have two dispatchers uh, working at a particular time for a shift. The high pressure work environment puts a lot of stress on those first responders on the other end of the line, even when the city doesn't technically consider them first responders. A new report from Forward Through Ferguson calls to classify them as first responders and raise their pay to reflect the difficulty of the job. We know that they're frustrated, they're very stressed, and that does contribute to the high rates of PTSD that they have, higher than the general public and even higher than for police officers, because they have to make these incredibly stressful decisions. The Department of Public Safety telling us today that the hard work to enhance the 911 response system will take time. We're here at this site because of that. Uh, Mayor Jones plans to build a new consolidated public safety access point uh, here across from the fire station uh, where it would bring dispatchers for police, fire, EMS, uh, social or mental health services all under one roof. But those plans are still just that, plans a long way off. In fact, uh, at last report, they're still stuck in the studying phase of whether or not the construction here is even feasible. Still a long way from breaking ground, and job 1A is finding enough people to just do the work. Reporting in St. Louis, Mark Maxwell, 5 on your side.